Welcome back. A new report shows scammers are finding new ways to target car buyers. One Harwinton man was recently scammed out of $500. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams is here to explain. Cassidy. Yeah, there are a number of different ways scammers will try to target you when you are looking for a new car. In this case, it started with a fake Facebook account. Rolls Royce built the Silver Cloud from 1955 through 1966. But Wilkinson knows a lot about cars, so much so he writes articles and produces these videos about classic cars. But even with all that knowledge, he found himself on the wrong side of a car scam. These things happen, and this could happen to anyone. Wilkinson was browsing Facebook earlier this year when he came across this posting, a 2012 Honda Accord for sale for $2,000. He knows now that price should have been a red flag. What decent car sells for $2,000 these days? It was way below market value. But he knew the person personally who had posted it. Or so he thought. Turns out that person's Facebook had been hacked. He ended up sending a $500 deposit through PayPal. This should have raised, raised a, a, a bell in my head. The seller said, can you send the money to my cousin? A new report from Better Business Bureau shows scams like these are on the rise. 696 reports of car buying related scams nationwide from 2021 to 2023. One of the hallmarks of this scam is that the person is unable to see the car in person always see the car in person. At the very least, do a video chat. Kristen Johnson with BBB Serving Connecticut says scammers are targeting people during the research process too. They're creating websites that look like accident report websites where you can look up a car's history. And this happened to a woman here in Connecticut. She paid a dollar to look up a car's history. Soon she received a $30 charge on a credit card and an email saying that she was now going to be charged $30 every two weeks for a subscription she unknowingly signed up for. Wilkinson was able to file a complaint with PayPal and he got his $500 back. This classic car enthusiast has learned to remember a classic piece of advice. I forgot the old saying, if it sounds too good to be true, that's probably the case. And the average dollar amount lost to a car sale scam was actually more than $12,000. And all of this data, of course, only includes people who report being scammed. There are likely many more who have been scammed but haven't reported it. For the IT, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.